issue of global warming is very, very important to scientists of today because it brings a lot, a lot of changes in planning, policy, and even in government. Because things that are happening in one way are beginning to happen another way. And there must be a way to deal with this situation through adequate scientific preparation. Now, if you look at what is there, the reactive materials such as fossil fuel, coal, oil, and so on, accounted for 85% of world's primary energy source and, and the supply, and accounts for 70% of world electricity uh, um, and its generation. And when you get involved in fossil fuel, the byproduct of it is also CO2 and some what we call greenhouse gases, which after accumulation for a long period of time affect our climate. So if you see what I've mentioned uh, already here, when reactive materials are stored in a place, there is what we call self-eating that takes place in reactive material due to oxidation reaction. And that also leads to emission of CO2 on a gradual basis. So all this can be put in a mathematical form. What I'm talking about can be seen through the issue, I mean, the diagram you have or the picture you have here. You can see that when all these greenhouse gases, in fact, where CO2 carries a large proportion, are emitted. They go out, and some of them are reflected back because it, there is what they call ozone layer they form, which eventually gets how the heat, the whole has to warm up, and also creating a kind of problem, which again we have to deal with. What? is greenhouse gas and the issue of stockpile of materials. What I'm talking about here, if you look at this diagram or picture you have uh, 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 um, here, you see where the combustible material is oxidized. It produces heat, carbon dioxide, and water. And you can see here is sugarcane baggies being stored Nobody put fire in it because they, are se they can be self heated and it produces CO2. And also, you can see coal. In South Africa, they use coal to generate power. Some of the residue of coal are stored and they can be self ignited and they produce all the CO, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide, which also account for the this one is not caused through production of electricity, they are just stored. But because of oxidation reaction, these are carbon material, then they oxidize, they produce CO2 as well. And all this thing goes to the atmosphere. How do we, the question comes, this type of thing, when they happen, if the heat they generated are accumulated, they can lead to explosion. And that's why you find fire without anybody causing those fire to occur. Two, the CO2 that is being emitted also contributes to the accumulation of greenhouse gases, which leads to global warming. Three, oxygen, which we needed to survive, is being depleted because you can't have this kind of reaction without oxygen being consumed. Oxygen supports combustion. So you have oxygen depletion, CO2 emission, and you have the heat produced. All these can contribute danger if they are not properly dealt with. Lots of research are going into this to make sure that how do we estimate CO2 in terms of carbon trade by industry from developed world and developing world? How do we do that? There must be a model to do such a thing. And how do we prevent ignition or fire outbreak? And how do we maintain that oxygen is available for proper breathing and surviving? So 
These are the questions this talk you will try to answer. I will brush, I will rush through some of them because of the time factor, but at the same time, it's something that I consider very interesting that those who are interested can look at. Here we have the illustration, we have the chemistry, and uh, you can see the explosion taking place here because of uh, issue of uh, heat accumulation. And you have industries that are put there, and you have Kyoto Protocol, which also dealt with this time. You can read details of this. It's a kind of thought that can take two, three hours, but I will shorten it and rush for that. But copies of papers published in this area will be left behind for people who are interested to further the study. So you have all this to show you is a very important global problem. Now, global warming and all it causes because of the CO2, oxygen, uh, 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 and so on, it causes nitrogen to, the, to increase. You have CO2 also increases over the years. These are statistics to show and the temperature of the world to increase because of the heat production uh, which we have. So these are there and uh, uh, you can, one can, and it also affect the species, animal species extinction. I mean, people talk of mosquito where you don't have mosquito before now. Where you're having it becoming cold, you don't have it. Where you don't have it, you're having it again because of all this issue. Now, now you can see all this, uh, most part of the world have agreed on this issue, uh, except U.S., but they have already agreed as well on the carbon trade, uh, this clean development mechanism to clean the whole system of the world, having a green, green, green system that is without CO2. Now, let's look at mathematics, which we are talking about. There are a lot of things mathematicians can do in dealing with this issue. One, you have major research area. One, you can look at reactive medium composition. You can look at heat generation. You can look at oxygen depletion. You can look at CO2 generation. What are the tools you need? Non-linear PDEs can be generated. You can look at both stochastic or uh, continuum model. Computational domain needed are the tool. You can get initial and boundary value problem to solve from all these things. And you can use uh, direct numerical simulation and uh, formulate model. So these are the tools which, once you have that, you can combat so many problems in this area. Modeling aspect. I've talked about transit effect, which is time. How does this thing occur over time? You want how the emission, oxygen depletion, heat generation, how they occur over time. You can monitor it using the evolution equation and get all those things. You can look at thermal stability. How can you maintain stability of source system that heat is not accumulated and there, there's no explosion? You can study that species tracking model for oxygen depletion, species tracking model for CO2. All these are areas of lot of work that can be done and a lot of things can, uh, can, can, can a lot of results one can obtain there. Now, um, uh, okay, I think this, uh, we move forward. So you have that. Let's look at the very simple model. Very simple model to deal with this type of thing. Look, you can have a small equation, short chemistry equation, you see, material stuff by oxygen. You have the kinetic exothermic that is happening there, and carbon dioxide and so on. Let's say this one by W naught, WCW. I, I, then you can model equation. K here, you can see it's ionious reaction, say heat generation. I, I mean, the rate of reaction has increases, the more heat generated, and you can form a very simple nonlinear ODE to deal with, which you have this U, uh, V, and theta. Theta is energy, is the temperature, and uh, this, you know, dimensionalize them, a lot of things, you can do that and solve. This is just elementary to start with. And you can complicate it further to look at the, 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 the diffusion, the conduction, and the, I mean, the spread. And this equation can be modified better and later. I mean, you see this, you can formulate the, uh, you solve them, to start with, and uh, 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 you, 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 you get all this. If you assume constant temperature, the OT reduced to 2, where you, is the, uh, um, you, you have this one as the, as the oxygen and the carbon dioxide emission, you plot, you can see, the, as the oxygen is decreasing, you have here the oxygen concentration decreases, carbon dioxide emission increases, then you can see, which is a number T to expect, because it's consuming and this. This is a very simple model to deal with. Uh, so but you can complicate it further. So ju I'm just showing you various examples of uh, the kind of thing one can do because of the time. And uh, uh, um, you, you, you have that, and you, 
you solve that. And you can take when the, the case two, when temperature is not constant. Then you have the, this one talks about the quantity, uh, the, the, the fraction of oxygen depletion, and uh, the one for carbon dioxide, and the one for temperature. So you can see here, this deals with the temperature. As the temperature increases, you can see that the CO2 emission is also increasing, and the, what you have seen, the O2 is decreasing. And then uh, you have all these graphs to show simple simulation of simple nonlinear equations to deal with this. Let's move further to round up. You can modify the thing again, and you have more complex problem. Maybe one now you are putting this one there, which talks about the spread. And uh, uh, if you look at thermodynamics of the problem using the first law uh, of thermodynamics, I mean, and, uh, and you can you can derive some of this equation and fix law also for the concentration, mass concentration, and the uh, transport. You can, you, can, you can get all these equations. Details, you find this, some of the paper in the literature I, I, I put at the references. You solve these. When you solve them, uh, you see it's more complex than before. It's the next step you can move, and uh, you move further. Uh, you will get theta is temperature, this oxygen carbon dioxide, non-dimensionalized. These are the bandicoats. This all talks about the convective, the, you see, at the, at the surface of the material, there is exchange of heat and uh, oxygen, and also carbon dioxide, so at the surface, you get all this is on, and uh, um, you are going to have uh, various results to, 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 to deal with. Uh, you solve them numerically anyway uh, for PDE. Uh, you can use method of line, transform the uh, nonlinear PDE to systems of ODEs by just discretizing in space using central differencing and so on. And uh, you have a lot of systems for this. This one for temperature, uh, for carbon dioxide, and for oxygen. Uh, carbon dioxide oxygen, you do that, put the, the, the conditions, write, uh, solve the equation, OD45. I mean, it's, it's, it's a kind of a stiff equation anyway. There are many uh, programs in MATLAB that can solve the system for you. You get the result and you can interpret. You can estimate the quantity of CO2 emitted. You can estimate the quantity of oxygen that is depleted. And you can estimate the heat that is being emitted in the system using. The, the, the model, and, the, uh, uh, and the, uh, you have the following graphs. This tells you about how the, I mean, the, 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 the temperature increases with time, evolution. When it gets to a steady state, it does, that's what this one shows. You can see here the heat in the system is, is emitted, and it's increased. When it gets to a steady state, it remains flat. Maybe after 10, uh, the time here may be in, 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 in if, if it's a stockpile, maybe in years. Uh, when there is now steady emission of heat, a uh, 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 production of heat. So you, you, you have that, and when you reach a steady state, you have that. And uh, um, you can see here also, it tells you in two-dimensional form how temperature increases in time, and you have that. So when T is 3, you have this. T is 4, you have this. T, that talks about the, the, the temperature. Uh, that is transient effect. You can also look at effect of various uh, parameters in the system. Here, M minus 2, M, M here talks about the reaction type. You have bimolecular reaction, you have ionic reaction, and you have uh, uh, a reaction we call sensitized. M equals to minus 2 sensitized reaction. When the reaction that takes place is sensitized reaction, the temperature, I mean, there is lower than when you have, uh, when you have bimolecular reaction. So when you do the chemistry of the system, depending on the reaction that takes place, which is exothermic, you can have that. And you hear, and here talks about the order of reaction. If the order of reaction is higher, then the temperature of the system is lower. The emission, the heat production is lower. At a low order, then you have high temperature, the, I mean high heat being emitted. So these are the results that one can, and this talks about the bout number, the thermal bout number, which talks about the, I mean, at the surface, how the heat is being, uh, uh, exchange of heat between the body and the, and the, and the ambient, I mean, the, the environment. As you increase the exchange of heat, that means it's lost, the heat in the system decrease. I mean, the, the, because it's losing heat. And these are the surface here, and this one is at the center of the body. So that is that, that where the reaction takes place. And you have all this, we talks about also the exchange of oxygen with the, so when this is increasing, more oxygen, uh, I mean, sorry, is getting to the system, and now you can see what happens here. As more oxygen to the system, then you can see the temperature is going to need heat. 
temperature, I mean, you can see that you need uh, uh, oxygen to, to, to produce heat. That's what that is showing us. And uh, for oxygen also, concentration opposite decreases. As oxygen concentration decreases in the system with time because it's using it to produce heat. And these are the results which I've already mentioned throughout the talk. And there are, like what I'm saying, there are various papers here. Uh, this paper tried to uh, talk more about some of the things. It's really the last paper here, 18, which is a numerical study of uh, uh, an exothermic reaction in a slab with convective banding conditions. Uh, you have that paper, uh, it contains more of the, what has been presented. And you have for this paper also, which talks about, uh, if you look at this one, also exothermic explosion in the slab. You can see that stronger in a significant body. Most of this paper are, are, are there, which I will leave behind for those who are interested. And they have a very strong impact in study what happens in issue of climate change. Because when you talk of climate change, you need to quantify what causes it, which is CO2, or greenhouse gases, and how do we reduce it? And uh, by studying it, provide a mathematical argument to justify this. Then you can look at a technology to reduce. How can we reduce it? All the issue of green technology that is coming up are based on a lot of research in this area. Thank you very much, and God bless.